and welcome to another educational video about screen printing by Catspit Productions. Today's video is a tips and advice video on how to clean up your press because eventually after screen printing, uh, especially when using spray tacks and spray adhesives, uh, you'll find that your press can get covered with lint and uh, spray tack residue and also the print heads and knobs and things can get a little bit of stray ink. So today we're going to take a quick look at how I would clean my press and also note that uh, different presses have different finishes like for instance uh, this is a Ranar press and I happen to be a Ranar dealer so I know that the, the um, coating or the paint on this press is, is a powder coating and it's baked so it can take solvent. So one of the first things that you have to test when you're cleaning your press if it has uh, if it's painted in any way is to make sure that the solvent that you're going to use on your press is not going to be a problem to the finish or to the enamel if it's not a baked on type enamel. Okay so that's number one. Alright so Test that first because what I use to clean my press is basically paint thinner. It's the cheapest thing to use. It uh, doesn't smell the greatest, but it's going to be, you know, for the amount that I'm going to want to use to clean my parts and stuff. And, uh, you know, the fact that it's, it's, it's a, um, kind of a petroleum product of sorts. It's a, it's a, it's a, uh, you know, it's not, it's not soap and water. You don't want to necessarily clean a press with a pressure washer with soap and water. That's not a good thing because then you're stripping all the areas that need lubrication of their lubrication. So we do it by hand with a rag and uh, a little bit of a solvent. So let's take a quick look at how I might clean my press in my shop and then you guys can adapt uh, how you can clean your press in your shop and I stress please test solvents on your press parts before you start going all out with any kind of cleaning. So you're going to find that different parts of the press are going to become more dirty or dirtier whichever is grammatically correct than other parts especially your print arms you know the print arms the print heads can get a lot of ink on them and uh, the front of the press and the floor and, and the printing area of the main printing station can get very dirty but as we look around the press you can see that the body the main portion of the body of the press gets gets lint on it the pallet arms get lint on them the print heads will get lint and or ink on them and it's important to clean the press every once in a while um, and one, one reason is that it, it makes for a more pleasurable, pleasurable time in screen printing uh, when you're working but also when you're working with white shirts or very light colored shirts like pink shirts and stuff like that getting rid of the filth from your press can um, you know go a long way in helping keep your product very clean and uh, mint and that's what you want as an end result so the first thing we're gonna do now that we've looked at the press and see how how and where it gets dirty is we're gonna take the pallets off to make it easier to start cleaning so you can see the press starts to collect a little bit of a fuzz it starts to grow some hair so the first thing that I'm gonna do in order to start cleaning this press is I want to take off all the pallets okay so that's what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna remove all the pallets from the press alright then so all the pallets are now removed what is this the wheel of fortune over here so we got the pallets removed uh, from the press so another thing that you might want to do before you start cleaning is get yourself some newsprint, some newspaper and you might want to lay down some newspaper directly under the main area where you're going to be cleaning print heads because you can rotate the print heads around so uh, the main area where you might be dripping some solvents and stuff you can lay down some paper 
and it will also collect the uh, the lint and everything. As you see, you'll see how we're gonna we're gonna clean a print head and stuff and get you started on the, on the cleaning job. All right, so we got all the pallets off. I've got some newsprint or newspaper on the floor under the main area that I'm going to be cleaning and using the paint thinner. So the first thing that I would suggest to do if you can is if you have a compressor is to blow off the unit of any free and loose dust that might be there. Once you have that done, um, you're ready to start cleaning there's because there, there may not be a lot of loose dust available to blow off but if there is we always try to do that first so you'll definitely need a rag I just use an old t-shirt you might also want an old toothbrush or some other kind of soft bristled brush to get into the nooks and crannies of the print head. Okay, but basically you can use uh, our newfound uh, awesome spray paint thinner. Spray paint thinner, that's kind of like a conundrum. Um, it's a uh, aerosol paint thinner. This is pretty cool. We discovered this recently. Um, so you could use this. Or, for what we're going to do here for the, for the print arm, where I really want to get a little bit of juice on here, it's just like that, okay? And you're going to just go through and make sure your print arm is as clean as possible on the top and bottom. Let me get my handy dandy toothbrush and I'll show you how we scrub in some of the smaller uh, intricate parts. Alright, so now with the toothbrush, I'm just going to, uh, you know, if, if I can, I can dip it in there. And then I'm just going to scrub in underneath all these little parts that you can't reach with the rag. Okay, so a little toothbrush scrubbing here and there, and then you just come in and finish it off with the rag. Okay, and basically the cleaning uh, is, that's it. You're going to use a, a, a rag, some thinner, a paint, uh, a paintbrush or, or a toothbrush of some sorts to get into the certain nooks and crannies. The nooks and crannies on top of the of the carousel and in here are going to be a little bit harder to work with. Cleaning the print heads can be a little bit difficult but basically you just got to take the time to use whatever tools and small accoutrements that you can find. Little paintbrushes, little toothbrushes and small rags and you know you're going to have to find ways to to get it in there and wipe and just basically put a little bit of elbow grease into cleaning the whole entire unit. Okay. Now, once you're done, you're going to want to make sure that you go back and lubricate anything that needs lubrication, such as your threaded um, clamps, like you have rear clamps with these threads. Go ahead and put a little bit of white lithium grease on there and, and run them up and down and get them in there. If they're dirty and gummy, use some WD-40 to flush them out and rinse them out, so to speak. And you'll have to use quite a bit of it. And you, you flood it out and screw them in and down and up and down. It's very tedious and takes a little time. 
So that's basically it. Your thinner rag is going to be your friend. You're going to get off all the ink off of the head and off of the knobs and go around one by one. And also, as you can see, other uh, parts and equipment in the shop, like your flash tear unit and your oven, your belt oven, can also require wipe downs on top. And uh, with your belt oven, it's important to clean out the filters that, that aerate the control panel. So every now and then, you should clean those filters and make sure that the airflow through the control panel is, is sufficient. Okay, so basically that's it. I'm going to continue to work. I'm going to have to take my shirt off. It's getting hot in here now. It's uh, been over 100 degrees in Arizona lately. And I'm going to finish cleaning the press today by myself. But basically, that's how I do it. That's it. It's, it's basically a lot of elbow grease and a lot of attention to detail. Uh, toothbrushes and other small little brushes will help you out. And of course, please make sure to test your solvent on your press before you do anything. Don't start using paint thinner or other press wash solvents on the press if you're not sure about the finish, if it's going to wipe the finish off. Okay, so check with your press manufacturer if you have any questions about that. All right, and um, I think that's it for today. I got to get busy working on this press, so I got to get it cleaned and uh, ready to, to do the next video for you guys as well as the next print job. So thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate your time. I hope this uh, helped you out and gave you a few tips on how to clean up a manual rotary textile screen printing press. Thanks a lot for watching. If you like what you see, comment below, rate thumbs up, and of course, please subscribe. We'll see you next time.